hello and welcome to another video edition being fx trader uh, our website is www.bnfxtrader.com we want you to like our videos subscribe to our channel so that you see more videos uh we want you to make comments at the bottom of the video ask questions we'll try as much as possible to respond to your questions you can also make requests on whichever video you want us to do we'll try as much as possible to do the video so that you can learn more on how to trade forex and volatility index then don't forget to hit the notification button at the bottom of the video uh, so that when we release the video you'll be the first to see it on your notification uh, dashboard now today we'll be demonstrating how you can divide your MetaTrader 5 uh, window into two. Then what other things can you do with two windows? Can you use it to make uh, uh, better trade decisions and what have you? That's all what we were talking about today now let's go straight to business this is the meta trader 5 uh window for usd jpy us united states dollar versus japanese yen one hour chart so um to divide this window into two i'll go to the top of my mt5 window where i have the uh window icon as i've pressed on it is this is the second to the right uh tab i'll press on it again this is the second to the right tab window top second to the right a uh, right uh, tab you can see window highlighted so once i tap on it it will bring a prompt and on the prompt i can see charts new window and usd jpy us dollars dollar versus japanese yen one hour uh time frame so i'll hit i'll hit the new window tab and you can see another window pops up but on this other window i have euro versus us dollar five minutes time frame so let me see if I can bring up another window. Uh, now the new window uh, uh, command icon is grilled out. So I can bring up more than two windows at a time on my phone. So let me see if I can arrange these two windows any way I like, whether horizontally. Okay, I have tile tile the windows horizontally this tab if i click on it it will tile the windows horizontally of course they are horizontally arranged let me try the other tab which is tile vertically if i click on it okay now i have a vertical arrangement i can see my us dollar versus japanese yen window one hour time frame and I can see my euro versus US dollar window five minutes time frame. So let me um, change the euro versus USD time frame to one hour time frame. Let's see what's up there. Okay. Now the USD uh, dollar is in a bullish trend, trying to move up, while the euro dollar is also the last, the present, uh, the last three candles also ticking up so let me tile it horizontally okay now how can you use this to make your trade decisions you can uh like if you want to just trade the currency pair let's say euro usd just want to trade euro usd or just want to trade usd jpy okay let's trade just usd jpy that means i'm going to have usd jpy as my upper window and usd jpy as my lower window but i'm going to use two different time frames 
so let me change the lower window to uh, show USD JPY okay this is USD JPY okay now I have USD JPY on the upper window and USD JPY on the lower window so I can now either change this to a different time frame or change this to a different time frame okay let me move I press down on it so that I can move it so that it will be in line all right okay now I'll, is that I use this as a daily time frame and then change this to one hour this is already on one hour time frame so that I can look at what's happening on the daily time frame and what's happening on the one hour time frame at the same time or I change this to one hour time frame and then change this to 15 minutes time frame that means I want to trade with two different time frames at the same time then I can also uh, change this to 4 hour time frame and then change this to 30 minutes time frame so that I can see what's happening on the 4 hour and then on the time for 30 minutes now that's that I can use multiple time frames or I can use the same time frame 4 hour 4 hour to give me the same uh, uh, view now i can introduce indicators for the two windows uh, like i can if i'm going to put in indicator on the upper window i'm going to press on this f uh button it takes me to where the indicators are i can choose a move my moving average 21 ema a red color i can do the same for the lower window i have to tap tap on the lower window to highlight it first then tap then F uh, button and then 21 EMA done so I can see 21 EMA on the two windows the upper window is 4 hour window the lower window is also 4 hour window so I can change my upper window to 30 minutes time frame I can see what's happening. Or I can leave my upper window as 4 hour time frame and then change the lower window to 30 minutes time frame. Now I can also introduce 50 EMA. I press on the F button. Press on this F with plus sign. Then press on moving average. Change this to 50 EMA. Change the color so that I don't have the same color. I uh, can select uh, brown. Done. Okay, you can see. The on the upper window I have two moving averages: the twenty-one exponential moving average and the fifty exponential moving average. And what you can see here is that the the 21 has crossed down on the 50 so let's repeat the same we tap on the lower window let's introduce 50 ema press on this f plus sign and then done so we can see that on the lower time frame which is 30 minutes time frame the 21 ema is under the 50 EMA is under the 50 EMA. Let me change the color for the of this my object. I'm gonna put fill fill um red. Okay, let me leave it as um green done. Okay. Now the 21 EMA is well under the 50 EMA or the lower time frame and the 21 EMA just crossed not quite long down on the 50 EMA on the upper window so that means USDJPY uh, has been in a bearish trend 
has been a bearish trend on the lower time frame, which is the 30 minutes time frame. But price just crossed above the two EMAs. So there is tendency for price to still go down and the bearish trend continue. But on the upper time frame, there's also been a bearish trend. And around this region, the lower EMA, the lower time EMA also crossed down the higher EMA, which means bearish trend may continue. But for now, on your screen, you can see an engulfing candle bar here, which is also represented with these one, two, three, four, five, six, six bullish. One, two, three, four, five. Five bullish uh, candles with a small uh, resistance here. So, but we have five bullish candles that is represented with this long green candle bar here. So, the, the multiple windows will allow you to see what's happening on the higher time frame. And what is happening on the lower time frame okay let's look at one now let's make our upper window to be a one hour window okay let's change the time frame to one hour so that we'll also explore more opportunities okay now let's change this the lower window to 15 minutes time frame okay now on the one hour time frame which is the upper window you can see what usdjpy is doing and then lower time frame we can also which is 15 minutes you can see what it has done now for the one hour time frame let's try and zoom in sorry about that. Let's zoom in okay you can see that the 21 ema is under the 50 ema which is a bearish trend okay and we can see what's happening on the 15 minutes time frame there has been a bearish trend 21 ema is under the 50 ema and it, is, it has been a bearish trend but it just crossed the 21 ema just crossed above the 50 ema here which may indicate retracement before the bearish trend continues so that's that for the dual window uh you how to use a multiple window on uh, mt5 you can you can do this on mt5 for now i'm not sure about you being able to do it on mt4 you can also use this um dual windows to check the progress on two different currency pairs that are correlating correlating uh, that are negatively correlated what i mean by negatively correlated peers is one pair will be going up like usdjp and the other pair will be going down like uh, gold let's change this lower time frame a lower window to gold uh gold 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 okay here yeah. okay now we have one hour for usdjpy and 15 minutes for gold let's change gold uh, versus us dollar to one hour time frame so that we'll be at par. okay now we can see what happened as these two pairs they are negatively correlated now whenever usdjpy uh, you know is trending down gold is always trading up so if usdjpy is going up gold will go down if, if gold is going down if gold is going up usdjpy will go down so they always act in the opposite direction right now you can see that gold is trying to come up the price of gold is trying to bounce here while the price of usdjpy is doing the exact opposite which is it's trying to uh turn down we can already see more like um uh can i call this evening star or okay more like evening star but we can see what's happening here 
so until the hour uh, you know the one hour period until it elapses before you can now decide on whether gold is going to continue to go down or whether usdjpy is going to continue to go up so you can also check other currency pairs like uh check other negatively correlated currency pairs like gbp uh usd let's change the upper time frame to upper window to gbp us okay these are gbp usd okay gbp usd that's this gbp usd is trending up let's look at its negative correlation which might be usd usd chf okay you can see as gbp usd is going is trending up usd chf is trending down now gbp usd stays above the 21 ema and the 50 ema while usd chf stays below the 21 and the 50 EMA. So that's that about using multiple windows on MT5. I think you can only do this on MT5 for now to make your trade decisions. So that's that. You can um, explore and you know check other qualities or other things you can do with multiple windows on your MetaTrader 5. So you can drop your questions or comment below this video. We can also make more suggestions on what video you want us to do for you. So we always do it and then give explanation so that you can understand uh, how to trade Forex or volatility in that better. Now I want you to like our video subscribe to the channel hit the notification button at the bottom of the video so that when we send out another video you'll be the first to see the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to ask questions where you are not clear or whatever you don't understand just ask questions we'll try as much as possible to clarify what we mean in our video so till i come your way next time it's bye 